Hi, this is David Bonnecter. Welcome to video 4B, which is the second of five videos devoted to the topic of valuation and risk models in the 2012 FRM Part 1. And that means that we have three chapters in John Hull to review. It's John Hull 8th edition as of 2012. However, these are all foundational and important chapters to the FRM, and they haven't really changed dramatically in recent years so the seventh edition even the sixth edition largely applies and we have binomial trees and black shoals merton so really it's option pricing models and some of the implications and then the greeks like delta and vega and gamma that are associated with option pricing so really all about options here in this video in terms of learning spreadsheets from la um, last year, I had seven, and what I did is I just consolidated this to make it a little easier to uh, organize. And so we have four in 2012. Um, 4B1 is the binomial option pricing model. That's a workbook that contains several worksheets because we really follow the John Holt methodology of starting with a very simple example, simple tree, and then move into some more um, intermediate type trees. There's nothing really advanced option pricing here. Our trees don't get too complicated, but uh, there's just a one workbook with several worksheets that apply some of the binomial examples. It looks like it's six sheets in total. I think I have a few more in there. 4B2 is the Black Scholes Merton. So that's a workbook, and the Black Scholes Merton is really on a single worksheet. And um, don't be intimidated. You'll see if you open this up, it's really just a few calculations. Not that bad as far as uh, spreadsheets go at all. I've included some volatility because that is that is included as a name in here, the, um, volatil the historical volatility naturally because that tends to be the input into the uh, historical volatility tends to be an input into the Black-Scholes. And then some examples, um, applications of the log normal property, which is really... Uh, not intuitive and not easy to uh, get our hands around. 4B3, again, this is a large work workbook because it has a set of, it has a full set of the option Greeks, one set for a European call, one set for a European put. So you can see structurally they're all similar, but the behavior of the different option Greeks is different. But there's a really all collected here in these spreadsheets. Uh, Actually, so these first three already, you can see it's three workbooks, quite a few worksheets. I tracked this highly relevant only because any any uh, time you spend with them shouldn't be wasted time. It's all related to option pricing, which is a highly testable topic. On the other hand, uh, you could um, get lost in all of the uh, detail, so um, don't, test, don't spend too much time on that if your goal is just to uh, pass the exam. And then 4B4, a, a medium, that just uh, wraps this up by finally applying some of these option Greek concepts. And so that's just for the idea where, for example, we want a portfolio and we want a delta hedge. How do we how do, we do that? So that uh, borrows some examples from John Hull. So the learning spreadsheets are there for backup. Um, pull, pull on them as you need. We're not Without getting quite to the aims, um, you'll notice that even in the setup with the John Hull, it's really two chapters, um, binom binomial, then Black Shoals, and then the option Greeks. And so that really does set up the two basic approaches to option pricing. Um, the binomial, which you can see has this, this tree, and I've illustrated here a recombining tree. By recombining, I mean up down gets you to the same place here as down up up down gets you the same place as down up recombining makes this a lot uh this tree a lot easier to work with and that's all we're going to work with um it's also called a lattice and it's also um notice it operates in discrete time we take a discrete step a discrete step a discrete step and so hull introduces binomial first and you might be wondering why and i think it's very natural because in a way the binomial is a real general case we have, we have a lot of flexibility in the assumptions, how we want to, uh, not only how, how many steps we want this tree to be, 